Hello and welcome back to the channel. How are you cuties? I hope you are doing very very well and you are not melting from the heat wave. Because of what I do on my YouTube channel, I get to discover a lot of new singers, new groups constantly. So I do not have a lot of time to actually actively stand anyone outside of really one band, which as we all know are Stray Kids, but with Enmix, they've been so consistently incredible and I'm so drawn to them that I'm like really contemplating starting to actually be active in the fandom and support if I can because I love those girls. So today I'm gonna look at the best moments. It's just gonna be 20 minutes of pure enjoyment of Enmix being cute, adorable, sweet and oh yeah, of course. A little bit of their vocals too. Before we start, please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I am slowly building it up because of one of the projects that I have planned and you guys will absolutely love that project. But for that, I need to contact a lot of people and guess what you've got to be? Verified. I can promise you back a lot of singing tutorials and occasional cute little photo. Link is gonna be down in the description and now without any further ado, let's get into it. Baby, I'm sorry. sorry. Baby, I'm sorry. sorry. Being so bad got me feeling so good. Showing you up like I knew that I would. This is a great example of Lily and uh, resonance. It's really incredible. You can hear a lot of other singers. The, there is a little bit of a closure in the resonance. They're not fully opened. It's not really only about the support, but if you're also technically hitting the tone correctly, right? So you have a good technique, you're not unnecessarily straining, but then you have to be able to fully develop and open that tone for its full potential, for its full resonance and being able to like really open the vibrance of your tone. And that's what Lily is incredible at. Mama, I'm sorry. She really drops that jaw very nicely. This was more of a belty sound. Her chest mix sounds incredible. So the true belts are usually from the chest voice, but her chest mix is just her whole entire movement. And this might just come out as like, you know, like a fangirling throughout the whole video, but I will fangirl over Lily because as I said before, she's one of a kind and I will down that hill. She is incredible and she has the best potential to be the best singer of the fourth uh, gen and one of the best singers of the K-pop. So I am really excited about that. I'm super excited where she's going to go. She's still very, very young and already like and the confidence she's singing with you know there are, there are a lot of singers that do not trust themselves <laughs> and for good reason you have to build up your confidence it comes with a time it comes with experience but for her age the confidence that she has in her voice like she trusts it she knows what she can afford to do with it and she fully relies on it it's really cool oh, 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 i reacted to this one right I love that they both could do that riff. Oh, both of them. And it was just very consistent. They were not having issues with really matching up together. I reacted to this one. If you want to see that video, I previously reacted to this one. I love that performance. So. After all of the darkness and sadness, soon comes happiness. If I surround myself with positive things, I'll gain prosperity. I'm a survivor. I kind of think that they cut out the best moments of this performance, which was more of those runny and there were a lot of runs. There were a couple of riffs. And I think those were kind of the most impressive because we both know, like we all know that they can belt and they have very sustained belting system, both of them. So yeah, but it was a great performance. Definitely recommend. <laughs> Look at the shape of her mouth. So she's using that 
fantastic shade that you really need to achieve those high tones that are vibrant and full. So they are not kind of squished and kind of pulled together. Ah, ah. Oh, you don't want that. You don't want that. You want some vibrant big sound and not only your lower jaw needs to move for you to achieve that. You've got to help with the upper jaw as well. So you need to expose those upper teeth. You need to squinch that nose like ah, ah, right there. It then resonates. It sounds beautiful. It almost looks like you're about to bite into an apple. To the A, baby. To the A, to the N, to the G, to the Hey. See anybody could be good to you. You need a back out of blow your mind. Okay. So one of the things that is very rarely talked about outside of the fandom is not only their vocal qualities on their own, but the effort that Nmix actually puts into harmonization. Like I feel like outside of them, it's Mamamoo. And it's kind of like it's when it comes to harmonization, like they put so much effort for it to sound good. They put a lot of effort to that vocal arrangement. It's it's really rare and very rarely talked about. I mean, outside of the bang fandom. Into the room. I know you want it. Bang bang all over bang, you. Bang, I'll bang, let bang, you have it. Wait a minute, let me take you there. Wait a minute, oh, take oh, hi. Bang, I really. Bang, you can see a very consistent technique here. So all of them were hitting those higher tones in the very similar way. So the technique is very consistent. I do not know if, uh, if, if Nmix definitely have vocal coach, right? Um, I know JYP as a company have vocal coaches. I do not know if they have some someone specific. If you guys do know, let me know. I would be interested to know. Again, the harmonization. Those tones are really hard to hit. Outside of any instrumentalization, instrumentation, instrumenta instrumentation, wow, she hit them so perfectly. Hey, this Come on, come on. Baby, you're my superhero. Got the wild in my soul. I don't need anything to help me satisfy. Goes and moves it from me. Go. Oh, I haven't heard this cover before, but I like it. I also like that she is kind of, you know, imitating that uh, technique imitating the style of singing that is connected with this genre a little bit of a falling out of that right a little bit of an impact on those lower tones makes you sound super badass a little bit of a cry Go on and try to tear me down Go on and try oh, baby. to tear me down I will be rising from the ground Like a skyscraper Like a skyscraper Today she would be hitting those tones with a full voice that was so cute. So she had a very consistent lower tones and that, that really sweet head voice. Oh, oh, they were such little babies there. Oh my I God. I won't be silent. You can keep me quiet. Won't tremble when you try it. All I know. You can hear the microdynamics that she's using. Ta -da, ta -da 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 -da. So every tone is slightly developed. So you do not have that which I'm like da 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 da. Right? A lot, a lot of singers use like virtually almost no dynamics within the tone. So it's very straightforward. And I understand that because a lot of people are moving. There's a lot of choreo here and there. They're difficult. So you want some 
solid start. <laughs> if you pull it, you're happy. But with this part, it was beautiful. She was playing with it. Please, I won't go speechless. Speechless. Let the storm in. Ah, she was so happy. She was like, <laughs> Yeah, I had a look at her face. Speechless. Let the storm. <laughs> I did that. Hell yeah. Spoken, cause I know that I won't go speechless. One of the things that you can really do to get a, re get a band with great harmony is never ending training of this harmony. And now a lot of people can get really frustrated by it. So you are very lucky if you find people who have fun with it. And Animix obviously have the biggest fan with it. They constantly play around with the harmony if they're if there's covers if it's their own stuff it's just you can tell that they're really enjoying that the way i would completely lost like at least three teeth on that chair like, my God, the coordination, I have none, so I'm really, like, I'm impressed. <laughs> mama, you're mama. So that was definitely not, like, life life. I'm really liking this compilation because it's, like, really life. This is obviously a little post-produced because that movement, imagine your diaphragm and that movement, so that would be a little Boy, I'm telling crazy. Your mama, your mama. Very forward. Very forward it sounds, which is a great placement, honestly. Lily knows where to place her mix. So there are many, there are a couple of places that you can push your mix into for it to resonate. There are more chest mixy places that are gonna imitate the belts a little bit more. And then there's really fronted, nice resonance mix and she doesn't get too much nasality coming through in there which is really good she's using a little bit of a slight Whoa! so she gets a little bit of a support through that one that the hero part is the hardest even harder than that is a little bit easier because it's still a slide but a super you have to have a proper support there and know what tones you're coming for going for because like that is jumping straight into the tone you are a pretty little mind people throw rocks at things that shine but they can't it really is just a blessing that is world i swear Nice sustained tone. Again, these are post-produced, but I really, really I like her voice. Again, I mentioned it before. I think she is a very essential part of Enmix, or at least growing into a fully essential part. So her tone quality is making other people really stand out and shine through. So a lot of other voices in Enmix are very, very bright, very bright and very loud. And her voice is anchoring them beautifully and i think i've heard that she is very shy and she's still like kind of questioning her position in that mix she shouldn't because she is the key player and uh i hope we're gonna see her more and more confident in that position because she's incredibly needed like Enmix would be full of like a really bright competing voices and she is kind of the neutralizer ne neutral neutral ne i can't speak today <laughs> she's the neutral ground that lets everybody shine without competing with each other so incredibly important position to get it wrong to know just what i like at home now then you let it go and my bully you love it the one that could Baby. break my heart her name is hey, bear right yeah, yeah, i remember yeah, yeah. 
that was adorable. You rarely have a child this young or like, I know she's not like a fully child, but like still a kid this young being able to have such a good access to their mix and so very well supported because we're not talking about support with her particularly like a breath support and all that stuff is pretty automatic but that access to that like she being able to position that tone so very well that it resonates beautifully it's not scuffed it's not it's not you know strained and such a fluent ascending to that as well. It's incredible. That was a little Jesse J moment right there. We love that. Again, those are post-produced, but ma, 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 ma. again, very, very fronted mix, which I love because if you can use that, so much fun, you're unstoppable. You can go for tones like E5, F5, right? It's a very great passage, especially through the frontal resonance. And even though their voices are very bright, none of them get like too obvious nasality, which you obviously risk with that frontal resonance that you're gonna have a lot of nasality coming through there is a little bit of it but it's not too strong on oh, my favorite song So this song is belty. You don't want to you don't want to go too high in your mix. You would preferably purely belt this song. And then you have that jump and some just want it all. If you are uncomfortable in that position, like this is too high for belting for you, you will suffer for the song. So you have to be comfortable with belting the entirety of time. The song is really belty, like all through it all. But everything ain't nothing if I ain't got you. We're talking about Alicia Keys. A lot of airy tones at the very bottom of it. Again, this is usually the problem that uh, people do lose support with a lot of movement in the lower tones. That happens and that's perfectly normal. That's why I'm such a huge like anti-supporter. What is it? I, I, I cannot remember English words today. I, I'm, my brain is suffering. Hater <laughs> of really low, low, low tones on performative songs. So if you have a song that you know that will be performed, companies, please, please, uh, no. <laughs> really good support on the uh, on those upper tones even though there was a lot of movement again the movement that's what kills you if you could just stay stationary stationary and sing that's the easy part of the whole thing <laughs> you sang that song Baby, you're my superhero. that song is very frequent so they sing it obviously a lot but that's also a song that they had to rehearse baby uh, it's a, it's a difficult song when i first heard that song i was like why would you do that to those kids why would you do that it's a hard song it's very vocally challenging there's a very challenging choreo with it as well i think it was their debut it was their debut right i think so and my god i was horrified when i first heard it not because like everybody was like oh what is that like it has a weird production i didn't mind that i thought it was kind of kind of cool what i minded it was like those incredible difficult places there and obviously like what nmix does with everything it's rehearsed perfection and you can see that lily especially 
continuously, constantly rehearse that one particular uh, one particular tone is a hero, and that tone is hard to hit because like, like you have to really map where you're exactly going and you're jumping into that tone. Hard. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, baby, baby. Oh, baby. How was I supposed to know? I love her impersonation. Oh, baby, baby. It was so cute. Oh. That something wasn't right here. Oh, baby, baby. <laughs> oh, wow. I shouldn't have oh, let <laughs> you go. <laughs> that was a low low for her. Roar, Way too low. Roar, roar. She knows how to move through the correct placement and then when she has a longer open tone beautifully and fully open it into the full resonance which is kind of that final step when you're perfecting your passaggio your builds your chest builds or higher even you want to get that good position and technically get into the correct placement but then also being able to fully develop that tone it's kind of like the last perfective step there. I don't know if perfective is a word, honestly. I'm tired. It's almost midnight. So that was fully chest. I would personally go more into a little bit of a mix there so it can get a little bit more open resonance. Oh, it's really sweet. Imagine that it would be your child. As a mom, I would like combust. I would be so proud. something about you. A little bit of yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I fell for everything. Such a such a sweet voice, but also uh, that expression. She's not pushing into her voice. It was like in a middle section, so it was not very like na 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 a little bit of a fry but and exactly knows where to also release that kind of attention from the voice to get that r&b sound a little bit you help me down but i got up hey already pushing off the dust you hear my voice you hear that sound and you're gonna hear me I think this is a good place to end because this video is already almost 30 minutes long. If you would like me to do a second part to this and react to the rest of it, which I would love to, I just, uh, YouTube is really heavily punishing me if I do video longer than 20 minutes. So if I'm going to edit this down to 20 minutes, I'm going to be very, very, very lucky, but it's probably not going to happen. So I would love to rather do a part two. So if you would want to see the part two, let me know other than that thank you so much for watching the video and just gushing over loving appreciating enemies with me because they're adorable they're talented and you should go and stand them and just they're gonna heal the world so if you did please don't forget to subscribe right here here is another NMIX video that YouTube actually recommended for you and here is the rest of my Korean reactions please stay safe and healthy I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.